The Haitian Revolution broke out in a series of conflicts beginning in the early 1790s and ended up becoming the first country to be founded by former slaves. The enslavement of the natives began shortly after Christopher Columbus sighted the island that he called La Isla Española, or the Spanish island. There became different classes on this island that included slaves, wealthy people of color that sometimes owned their own slaves, and whites, but the slaves made up the majority and consisted of natives as well as Africans brought in on ships. When the French Revolution broke out in 1789, all of these people had something to complain about. The slaves obviously had terrible living conditions and were treated horribly. The wealthy Africans were still discriminated and considered much lesser humans than the whites, and the poor whites were still resentful to all the privileges of the free people of color even though they were still subject to legal discrimination. The major leader of the slave rebellion was Sam Bradaw, a former slave. Louverture, as he eventually became known, helped to assemble the slaves into a disciplined army that could withstand attacks from the French troops. The Spanish and the British were both at war with France, and the French eventually decided they were definitely going to lose the war if they were fighting with the Spanish, the British, and the slaves. So they freed the slaves on February 4th, 1794, and was recognized by the National Convention in Paris. While this was a step in the right direction, this however did not end the conflict, but rather started the second phase of the revolution, the fight for independence. The island of Saint Dominica was doing pretty well, except that it was still technically owned by France. The former slaves thought that the French wanted to reintroduce the slaves to the island. The French tried to take their guns, and this eventually sparked the uprising. The French were cruel, executing women and children, and even releasing man-eating dogs. But the Haitians fought back, and disease, yellow fever especially, helped kill off many of the French. The defeat and the death of his troops convinced Napoleon to give up his dreams of an American empire and cut his losses. He regained his remaining troops and sold Thomas Jefferson, Louisiana, known as the Louisiana Purchase. On January 1st, 1804, Jacques de Saline declared the island of Saint Dominica independent and renamed it Haiti, which is what it had been called by natives before the arrival of Columbus. 150,000 people died in 1802 and 1803 alone, and has since been scarred with tragedy in some parts of Haiti. But the Haitian Revolution was inspirational because it stood up for independence against all odds. They stood up for themselves and the idea that no one should be enslaved, and Haiti's modern poverty does not represent the incredible steps they took to become an independent nation in the past.